Words are written for the day. Always a great feeling. Get that out of the way. It's only 6.15 and I'm done with all my writing. It's an awesome feeling. If you notice, I'm wearing a jacket now. The cold season is upon us. It's starting to get really chilly in the mornings and at night. So every morning for the first hour or two of the morning, I've got to put this jacket on. Try to stay warm. So one of the things that I've noticed doing these videos every day is that I have a lot more comments on my videos on YouTube. Not a ton more views, but a lot more comments. I would imagine that's from more loyal visitors to my YouTube page. Um, I have gotten a couple of subscribers. And I guess it's just better quality of viewer over what was stumbling across my videos before. I don't know yet if I'm going to take this project, this experiment, longer than originally intended, the one week of making videos every day. Maybe I'll continue, or maybe I'll just make them every once in a while, a couple times a week, once a week, something like that. It's just going to depend on if there's enough to document in my daily life I guess and a lot of other things like time so stick around and we'll check we'll see this random pillow in the yard pretty much sums up how people deal with trash here in the village it's pretty obnoxious this is a sasa it's a Fijian broom it's just a little short handle just sweep like that make it out of the stems of coconut leaves and then the handle is just a stick and tie it all together this one cost me one dollar and about four hours to make but it's lasting me two years now it's actually it works pretty well a kerosene lantern something you see in a museum in america but has become a part of your daily life in peace corps if you listen to podcasts check out overcast it's much better than the standard Apple Podcast player on the iPhone. It lets you speed up the sound to like one and a half times the speed or two times the speed so you can listen to something with just as much comprehension, but something that takes two hours normally might only take an hour and 15 minutes, say. And it also has a smart speed where it cuts out all the pauses and talking, and so it doesn't actually speed it up, but it just cuts those out and makes it a little bit shorter, which is nice. I have a LifeProof phone case, and the roaches eat the rubber off of it at night, even though it sits right next to my pillow. It's really obnoxious, and so now the whole edges of my phone case are chewed up, and all the buttons are flat, so I really have to push hard on them. Having roaches infesting in your house sucks. These are small replicas of traditional Fijian weapons from back in the primitive days. This one is a bone breaker. You hit somebody like this and use this edge of it. Oh crap, I just broke the uh... This thing's been sitting here so long it just snapped right off. You just use the edge of it and you hit somebody it splits their bone. It's pretty cool. You put that up there for now. And then this one, I'll try not to break this one. This one, you hit them with this point right here. Try to kill them. If they're not dead, when they're laying on the floor, you put their neck right in this part and you twist it. It snaps their neck, kills them. So that's the most famous one. It's pretty cool. You'll see it on roads. They'll have big uh, pillars and they're shaped like that. It's a big symbol. Of the old culture here in Fiji. I just jerry-rigged a little S-hook, I don't know if you can see that, onto the rope there so that it would hang again. Now it's looking just as good. Just wanted to give a quick view of the roof, my view when I'm lying in bed. I think that's pretty cool. I had always wanted to live in a primitive house before I came here. I'm so lucky that I got this opportunity for two years. 
no one in Fiji uses paper towels. So someone once saw this sitting up here on my shelf. They said, hey, what's that? A big toilet paper. This is my bucket of kombucha here. It's just a big cracker bucket. And I fill that out, make some kombucha, just black tea, sugar, and scobies. And I let it sit for about two weeks usually. And then it's good to drink. And I bottle it into these gallon bottles here. And just uh, have two weeks worth of kombucha to drink. And then I do the next batch and make another one.